Oh, welcome back to some more Monster Train. Playing through the clan rotations, just doing them normal high charge shenanigans. Who do we got today? Well, we got Rector Flicker, obviously paired with Planks. We got Soul Sucker, Wings of Safety, Seraph the Temperate. Not bad bosses. Ooh, we get Entombed Explosives and an AoE spell plus a little sustain. So we got some really good starters. Champions, I mean, you take Dark Calling when you find it because it's that strong. Uh, we take cheaper those. What are our banners, by the way? Okay, good. Not ra ra not Umbra banners. Aggressive it could be a lot of damage, but if we get our tombs a rolling. <sighs> Missed both planks. Well, we're just going to drop those and we will drop you up top. We got both planks this time, which is good. Um, bop, bop. So we drop you down, and we can just drop one of those down. Get a plank for a morsel, then we can drop the drake to get the kill. We drop you because that takes out the damage shield, and now we got reforms are rolling. Um, we're doing 26 at the moment, so we just drop one of you down, we get that kill. Awesome. Might as well just do as much damage into the boss as possible. Sure, have some lifesteal. Yeah. Drop this, drop this, plink, plink, and turn. Bam. Tombs a bust up. Oh, we could do some burnout extension, but I think. Let's take the drip fall. I like a drip fall. Um, we will take the packed morsels just in case we end up with morsel strategy, but I think a wickless baron is going to be good for us otherwise. Alright. Banner shows us quick and burnout. Shows us another wickless baron. Might as well. Stable two of those together, make our AoE spell free, and a plink, a purge. All right, let's get our banner units. Actually, yeah, no, 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 that is what I want, but I do want to reroll. There's the endless. I could have put a burnout one there. That would have been fine. But then I wouldn't have enough for multi strike guaranteed. Well, no, I had the endless. But the endless went in, and that was my big upgrade. I would have had more for the multi strike. Uh, let's go ahead and give you damage shield three, though. That's a good defensive one. Up until up through Divinity. We're gonna plank once here. This is going to. Eat up our reforms. And we're gonna lose our morsels. Darn, we're not gonna get that guy killed. Let's just lose the Drake for more stats. Get as much damage in down there. Because we got this scary floor next. Well, AoE takes care of a lot of it. 50 damage takes care of the rest. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. But might as well just drop everything down. I'm just going to keep tossing out these blinks. We're going to have you chump everything, get some damage shield, plink, plink. This is all good by me. Look at those big burnout units. Tombed Explosive. Let's just give some more stats. This and another drag and a drip fall. Yeah. Got some good stats going. Drip fall. 
Tomb Explosive, get some life steal, blink. Easy takeout up top. I think we are just going to go Drip Ball Train. We could do the buffs there. Ooh, Space Prism, nice. But it's not needed. It is definitely not needed. Um, artifacts or Merchant? I don't think we really need the Merchant of Magic quite yet. So let's look at our artifacts. If we take that lost luggage, we skip those. Another minus two, we can hold off on that minus two, but we definitely take out another flank. And I love myself a Calcified Ember. What can I say? All right, minus two is gonna go into a drip fall. Now it's ready for double stack or the purge. Um, I think I'm going to keep, well, no, we're gonna merge these two entombed explosives right now because that will be good going into ring four. Not quite needed on ring three, but good for ring four. All righty. Let's get rid of a plank. Of course it misses. Um, I guess we just jump. Might as well feed some morsels into my units. And start growing my stats everywhere. Awesome. Um, Plink. Apparently misses. We're just going to take out a couple of units. Double daze that guy. There we go. Entombed explosive goes down and you can go down. Let's just do as much damage as possible on our floor, get our units killed. I mean, that blows up both of those, and yeah, it is 23 into them. Now, that being said, I don't really need those anymore. But it doesn't matter. I should have played this one down if I wanted to get the uh, block through. Let's see. We can hold off on that. We're just going to drop units to gain our stats. Sure, another unit can take the damage. If we blast the AoE, Ooh, we get a plink even. All right, so we get four Ember next turn. You know what, eight life steal is gonna just carry us through this anyways. Take a daze. Easy times. Ooh, a Shroud Spike. I mean, I'm not going to be going Plink soon enough. I do have the Pact of Morsels. I don't think we actually need any of those. AoE isn't bad if I infuse you into something. But I don't have anything to infuse you into at the moment. Um, not the units I'm hoping for. Take a draw. And let's see what we get here. Merchant of Steel shows me quick and burnout one. Just shows me money and another Baron. I think we're gonna dupe our Baron next round on the right. Sure, advanced prototype. Help me for a little bit. Let's get you burnout. Do I see the multi-strike? I do see the multi-strike, that is nice. All right. Um. We're gonna move two drags. Don't need them. And let's just go. 
harvest reform, I guess. I mean, my floor is going to be two of my dudes and some tombed explosives. At least it will be shortly. We are just going to place you up front. We did get rid of the damage shield, that's good. I'm gonna put as much damage into that guy as possible. Ooh. We don't see our tank yet. That's not ideal. Oh, we don't kill the backliner either. All right, um. Well, that can perish. If this dies, that's the less damage. So we're just gonna place all those here. We're gonna take a buttload of damage. We need our tomb, awesome. We're gonna drop this floor. If we throw a plank here, no, that misses what I wanted to hit, so we're just gonna wipe and call it good. Oh no, I lost my important guy. Um, you're 81. Eighty-two. So that hits me for twelve up top, and then I perish. Can't have that. No, no, no. So let's space prison. Let's, you know, let's get all three morsels this time, like a smart person, instead of two. You know, do this counting correctly. Okay. Oh, the only downside is if I do this, you know what? This is fine. Just start getting kills doing some damage in the bottom with these reforms. I think that's actually a good call. All right. We're doing a lot better this time. We drop that, we clear the floor, awesome. Um, we're going to drop you down, then Fatal Melting. Oh, very good. Might as well just plink here twice. This seems to be going a lot better. Drop the tomb, it burns out, we get that kill. You have burnout too. So we're gonna block your damage shield real quick. Yeah. All right, we do wanna get damage in to these units. That's gonna clear out there. That's just fatal melting. This is 80 damage. That's just gonna burn out up top. Set you down, and we set you down. Good, that burns out, so we still only get two junk from this floor. That's good. Junk, 
junk, drip fall. That should work fine, and this should get a kill up top. Nice and easy. Just had to play our champ bottom floor. I don't think we need a rationing scales for any reason. Um, subsuming blade isn't a horrible idea. Skip. Thank you for the excavated embers. Now we could go to the left, try for the infinite right away. But I think we want to see what's offered. Another minus two, but a plus 10 pierce this time is good. Build a card, okay. Um, I guess we go heal, because we need some sustain. Sure, and ascend, and a floor space. It's not actually horrible. We can start fitting a lot of things. There we go, waxer snuffer. Very cool. Um, we dupe you. We can minus two the subsuming blade to start getting its stats up and plus ten pierce our fatal melting. Yep. That's good. We are actually gonna sacrifice a train steward. How many more temples do we got? One more temple, so only one more infusion. We just kinda of sacrifice the rest. Money is good. Hey, okay, let's just draw into our deck. We play both of these guys up top. Ooh, I could have played you down and sacrificed. That takes up all three of the four hits. So we drop you, you, you. There you go. Why not just kill out the whole bottom floor? Plink misses everything. These two can go down middle. Some good floor space now. Oh, we even get the plink, so let's drop you here, you in the back. I mean, our dude's exploding for 200 damage. So I'm not really worried about that at the moment. We drop you, we get the kill. Very nice. Um, let's get some morsels going, because we have them. Let's get some of those out. What are you guys going? Then we're out of floor space that I care about. Bam. Do that. We drop a tomb. We're gonna play and ascend you just to get another floor space down here. All right, the tomb goes down. We wipe out that floor. Um, I'm going to take this out. I do not want to pierce here. So I just guess we wipe this floor. This is 200 damage. You are barely gaining some through. We're just going to send you up to get more stats upstairs, though. Do this. We drip fall. We're going to get some of this. You know what? Oh no, you get more attack. What a shame. All right, ooh, a Votaveri, I will take it for the free draws. There is a Furnace Tap and a Void Binding. If I get everything down to zero cost, that's important. 
We're gonna take the Void Binding. I think we want the Damage Shield versus another Strike. Um. Okay, that's not bad. Health, health, and money. Sorry, money, money, and health, I should say. And not anything too terribly exciting there. Remove a Train Steward. Remove a Plink. I'm gonna go down and get rid of all of the Plinks. Yeah, I'm gonna go left next turn. I think this is a pretty decent hand. Okay, let's get a floor space. Let's draw and draw. I'm gonna drop you and the Bodaberry. We drop both of these. We're just going to take out this floor. Increase our floor space and drop that down. Yeah. It's going to be some good extra draws, which is great. Get our stats up. Get our chumps out. Get a little bit more damage in there because I can. to keep breaking through these floors as much as possible. And we are going to drop and then I guess ping you out just for the funds of it. Sure, throw some days into the bosses. Why not? Okay. We get that kill. We get some stats here. You might as well gain the burnout. Get another floor space. I actually do want your stats to keep increasing. Yeah. Drop that, we might as well just uh, Fatal Melting out the floor. Very cool. We are going to get our stats up as much as possible. We just ping out the bottom. All right, we get you out. We are going to drop both of these. We're gonna send you up actually. Days here and nothing worth a ping. Well, if I ping that, those all die. Might as well get the stats now and increase my dagger damage. All right, that's a good block. This is another good block. 23 damage isn't quite what I want to see, but it's fine. Might as well just clear this floor out. Um, We only need one Ember for the tomb, really. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw that immortal trade into you. Bam, there's the tomb, there's the daze. Huh. Might as well just get as much damage out as possible. Awesome.
This is fine. Share a floor space. I mean, that's just 200 straight damage for free. Days, days. Damage shield, life steal, life steal. Doesn't really matter. We have a good chunk of survivability there. I will take a trample stone because it's good. We take more draw because more cards is more better. We go this lovely merchant over here. Minus one is going to go into the void binding most likely. Let's check this temple real quick. Spell chain. I mean, that's clearly the excavated ember. Intrinsic. We're getting a big hand. Let's get the other excavated with an intrinsic. Put this into the drag. Very cool. All right, minus one, as I said, goes into void binding. We can go ahead and double stack this drip ball. Holdover isn't what I wanted. Minus one goes into old magic. I mm, think we go the Duke next round, most likely. Let's get more stats. I think we get the Duke. We dupe our digger. All right, draw, draw, space. Uh. I'm gonna drop both of these down. We are going to damage shield you and then ping everything out. Cool. All right. Hmm. I think what we want to do we're going to tomb dagger drop the tomb again Draw another card. There's a trample uh -huh. stone. Yeah, we just kind of drop everything now. Uh, let's give the front one trample. Very cool. <clears throat> All right, get big damage. We. Drop the defense and then wipe out this floor. Cool, so that way we can pierce you out. We're gonna give you the damage shield just to help the unit survive more health. Now we can start scaling top if we want. I mean, we do want to scale top. It's not when we want it, so we do want that. So we go Entombed Explosive, we go the Votaberry. It's gonna defend us a little bit. Might as well just daze a couple of things, right? You take two hits, you take one hit. We just watch all those numbers scale up top now. Hilarious. You go down, you go down. I'm just gonna wipe that floor. You're up to 35. Let's just drop one of these. Drip fall to the back. Take out one of those. We got still what? One, two hits coming in. So I don't really want to damage shield you. Okay. All right. You go down. You go down. We can maintain stats, I think. Burn out one. Drip fall, drop this down. 
Screw it, let's drip fall again. All right, we drop you for the defense. Uh -huh. We are going to put the tomb down. Drop you in the back. Now I could, we're gonna daze to lifesteal four here. Send one of those up and send another one down. Look at that, 900 damage on the boss. That's some good damage. Okay. We blast, that saves all the damage. Then we drop the Bodaberry, we ping the Bodaberry. We drop you down. We get another 217 in. And then because we have so much damage shield here, it doesn't matter. We get a nice kill. Oh, we could not have to go with the dupe next round. We are going to put minus two, I think, into the subsuming. Now we are still going to go with the dupe. We're just going to skip. The dupe also has all the removals I want, right? So we're going to go to the dupe side. We're going to say skip. We could get free money. I don't think that's needed. Get a battle of Vortaberry? Nah, also not needed. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we do battle of Vortaberry. Alright. Um, we get rid of Drip Fall. What else costs Ember? Train Steward. We're going to dupe our Subsuming Blade. Now let's get rid of, there's a multi-strike, oh. All right, what does not consume out? So we get rid of an immortal trade. We do want two ember every round, or one ember for our tomb if needed. So we remove another one of those. 22 cards, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we only have one Votaberry. Whoops, I thought we had two for some reason. We're still gonna, fine. I thought we had two. That was my mistake. We're still gonna make a little, a little strong berry. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Not as badly as I thought it was going to be. That's my own mistake. Still quite badly. All right, space, draw, place you down. We're gonna drop both of our friends down here. Get the space, we draw the two. Draw, draw. We don't have the space for that yet. Yet, being a keyword. All right. We drop the explosives. We can just drop you down here. Now we are getting some good stats upstairs. Get more space. We are going to blast. Yeah, fatal melting. And then we drop you and we get the kill. That's easy. Alright, we take out one of these. We 
knock down the other one. Damage shield. Let's get some morsels out. So they're no longer in the deck. We blast the draw two, that was not exciting. We do that, we get the kill. We give you the defense. Now we're really well off. Wiping that out. I guess we could start throwing drip balls into the boss. We let you perish there, we go up top here. We're gonna drop you to draw two. We're gonna drop you and then blast the floor. Sting out the middle guys. Get another drip fall. We're going to blast. We're going to blast the AoE. We're just going to drop you as our second unit for more defense. We just got a nice big floor of units. Right? Yeah. We drop both of those. And then you as well. You have max floor size. And we get plenty of damage into the boss. Take that out. Drop you down. Defend me, little one. Damage shield 2, bop bop 30. So we can do this and you'll still die. I'm just going to start clearing out the boss defenders. Alrighty. Drop you down. We're gonna ping you. Apparently I was out of cards in deck. That's fine. Right, spike damage. And the turn. You go down, you go down, get in there, Votaberry. Do your thing. At 107 attack. Get a nice symbol kill. Sure, Shard Divinity. Bring it on. All right, draw. Let's get the days going. Let's draw, draw. Drop you and you, and we're gonna head and drop you as well. I guess we'll drop you center and just chump twice. 68 can almost take on one of those guys, which is pretty funny. All right, space, draw. We are going to drop down the tomb. You do 24. Let's throw in a packed morsels, because I can. Drop you down here, you down here, send you up. And clear out that floor. All right, we do 
Wanna draw two so we can get the space going and drop our two out. Get the double drip ball and we're gonna give you trample. Yeah, that floor is annoying, but both of oh that does not die. That was not ideal. I thought it was. I miscounted my damage, apparently. It happens. It happens. Alright, you get to defend us. We're gonna blast out that floor as much damage as possible. We are going to draw two. Drop that, we clear the floor. We need another draw up top. And we're gonna take out that frontliner because we need to kill that big tank. That is a lot of damage coming through. I only have like 300 up top at the moment. So, we get 200 down. Let's get our floor space. We drip fall. You're gonna be our sacrifice. But on the bright side, we take out the backliner. We just drop both of these. Awesome. Oh, and our dude did not die. A little surprising. Alright, you are going to come up. Oh, with what? 36, 100, 11? For three hits, so we will be fine. Yeah. Uh, we're going to stop the trample going through, because we can. Oh, 63. Why am I so bad at math, apparently? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Just bad at math. Curse. Alright, we're going to drop both of these. We AoE blast. We daze. We get some extra draw. We are just going to take out a couple of annoying units. We do actually want to start working on that guy a little bit. Fine. We got a lot of stats up top, that's for sure. Alright, we just AoE blast the bottom. I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna blast that guy. I mean, these just simply going back. You get some nice damage shield. You get some nice days. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. We can... Drop you. We're going to blast for 200. We drop you. We full blast the floor. There we go. Nice, easy. Full floor of units. Depart. Close. Ooh, new harvest trigger best. Nice. Um, even being out, this is probably an infinite. Okay, run summary. And there you go.
just some pure harvest scaling. I mean, double explosive tomb with a waxer snuffer is great. Wickless barons getting us, you know, all those harvest triggers. Each one's getting two. So let's you know, plus five, plus five per unit death, plus 10 attack total because of multi-strike. And of course, a little votaberry. I thought, for some reason, I thought we had two votaberries already. We did not. We only had one. Um, so the infinite was it possible. Whatever. We did have a good time still. Actually, probably then, if I re <laughs> was thinking, well, I could uh, could have Merchant of Magic, see if there's a remove consume for my... Twinstone excavated Ember done some silly things there. But this was still strong. I mean, lots of stats, a lot of damage, bringing back some extra damage as well so we could clear those mini bosses. A little bit of trouble in the mid game, but otherwise it was a uh, straight forward. Yeah. So that was Melting Remnant. The run is done. Waxer Snuffer good. Reforms good. Vota very good. What a good candle stick person. Anyways, with that said, thank you for watching and have fun.